Hello my beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Miriam K. If this is your first time watching my videos or coming and checking out my channel, thank you, thank you and welcome. Make yourself at home and join the family, the, you know, join the boat because we are taking this boat all the way, you know, to success. So you can do that by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will get notification anytime I post a video. My channel is all about professional and personal development. So which means you know, um, basically just how to manage your personal life and also your professional life because we live in a world where both, you know, they are intertwined. And so that's what my channel is about. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you so much. And I want to use this time to say thank you all. We have been growing. The channel has been growing rapidly. Like, I can't believe it. Thank you all so, so, so much for your support. Thank you to all of you that share the video, that come by, you like, you comment. It makes a huge difference because then YouTube will suggest my videos to other people if there's engagement. So please, when you're watching, don't just watch it go. At least like. If you can comment, that's even better because we are on our way to monetization so and i know with your help we're gonna get there and so please don't forget to subscribe it is free you don't pay to subscribe being so be, uh, subscribing to my channel just means that you will see my videos you know on your if you're on the notification you also get a notification when i have a video you know it doesn't mean i'm gonna be disturbing you sending you messages or anything like that so please subscribe it's free it doesn't cost you anything and it doesn't mean i'm gonna be stalking your life <laughs> anyway thank you very much for that we're on our way and i um, really really appreciate you all so 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 much it means the world to me and being able to share my knowledge that's why i say we're on this journey together because it's not just about me it's about all of us learning because of my professional and personal development and they are very much intertwined and i believe we are all at some point we all gonna fall into that category at some point you know that we have to learn to balance it manage it so we can do well in our personal life and also in our professional life whether it be you have it, you been an entrepreneur or working whatever it is and your personal life whether it be your family relationship whatever you know so we're on this journey to get that so buckle up and because this is it this ship is about to take actually no 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 ship too many bad things happening in cruise ship so we're gonna be taking a flight in fact we're gonna walk <laughs> to make sure we're safe anyways um today i wanted to just talk about things like tips and ideas and things we can do as we are slowly getting back to you know normal life after the lockdown so many literally after the global lockdown and as much as now the cases are reducing and people restrictions are being relaxed and eased and people out there that does not necessarily mean everything is fine everything is going to be okay especially for those that have businesses and brands that were greatly affected by the coronavirus the lockdown so getting back out there is not easy it's tricky and there is no just like guideline that like this is what's going to happen because as much as we've had pandemics before um, in the world way before any, nah, i was born anyway still we have not had something like this as global and the way it impacted lives and affected everything you know in this century anyway so it's something that we are all learning even those at the top they don't 
know really what they're doing we are all just is like trial and error and see what works so but i just wanted to give some tips that may help you as you navigate your way through this lockdown and getting back into real life into normal life and also to for you to keep it in mind that although it seems like everything is okay the cases are reducing there is still a chance of a second outbreak you know until we have a vaccine that is widely distributed as a, and accessible to people there is always going to be that chance of another outbreak a second outbreak it might not be as global as universal it probably going to be more so national so just as they're doing now they're locking down certain places that have cases and locking them down to protect others and i think that's how it's going to be but eventually we're going to find all our all of us you know eventually you're going to end up area by area being in that boat so also keep that in mind so one of the tips that i think is very useful as you get back out there navigate your way through is communication communication with your customers your clients your audience whatever is very important don't just assume that they should know you are back up you know back up and running that you you've reopened whatever don't just think that oh they should know no you have to make sure your customers are well informed and one of the fastest and easiest way to do this is using social media so this can be you know through your brand facebook instagram tweet twitter whatever it is but just even making a post to let your customers know we are back in business and also because of restriction you need to let them know what is the capacity that you can take now or what are the requirements now if you have a shop now they're making it in the uk they're starting to make it you know mandatory for you to wear face masks when you go to supermarkets and shops so if this is going to be you if your business is going to fall into that category even though yes everybody knows it's being announced in the news still let your customers know let them know your opening times because a lot of people's opening times have changed let them know your menu even big corporations as big as mcdonald's they have a reduced menu right now because they can't have everything due to social distancing you know requirements so they have less staff to you know able to attend they also make sure they put a cap that you cannot i think you can't order over 25 pounds they put a cap so that way it, more people are able to get so if you're going to do things like this please inform your customers yes they can find out when they go there but it's better for them to know ahead of time so they can plan themselves so if there's anything they need to do on their own part then they can do it so communication is very important another thing i think a lot of people entrepreneurs you know sometimes want to act like everything is okay i've got it under control but what's happened has affected even the biggest corporations you know it's affected them let alone if you're an entrepreneur small business owner whatever you are also going to be impacted so please don't be ashamed or scared or whatever to ask for advice and help speak to they have so many agencies that are there to give advice your bank also because a lot of people have been affected financially and there are government schemes and loans and grants to help people get back on their feet after everything that's gone on so please if you feel that you are struggling seek advice try and know what you are entitled to because some things you may be entitled to them and you don't even know so don't act as if everything is okay if it's not it's not it is understandable so please seek advice and guidance when you need to 
and i think this is why sometimes it's important as well to have a mentor or business coach which is what i do for people just to kind of help them because it can be very daunting to get back after everything how do you where do you even start what what do you do what do how do you it's a lot and sometimes you just want to focus on selling your product or service and you don't want to be bothered with all of those things that's where a business coach or um, a mentor comes in to help you i help clients like put uh, like an action plan and i break it down either like for this month for this week so it's kind of easier for them to be able to focus on actually you know selling their product or services and also having a clear plan because whatever it is you were doing before might not work now the world has really changed and we have to go with the flow and adapt that brings me on to my next point which is you have to adapt with changes there are certain, this is just the new normal. Things such as wearing face mask and that. You have to. When they say survival of the fittest, it's not the person that is the fittest as in physically, no. It also has a lot to do with adaptability. You need to be able to adapt to an environment. That is the only reason why us as human, we are alive today. Because our ancestors, you know back in the days even before cavemen they adapted to changes whether it be changes within the environment or whatever it is they adapted and that's we're here and so you have to do the same you have to if you want to get back and be successful you have to and another thing as well you have to make use of like virtual tools and resources because although yes some places are allowed to open they cannot have as much stuff so if you have a business where for example you have different department there are some that may require to be in the office but there are others that they can actually get the work done from home the same thing if somebody's like an accountant they can do that so you need to think about that because that might be a way for you to still be able to meet your productivity target even though there are less stuff in the office and you can rotate it around you can make some people you know this week this is the ones that are going to be in next week you rotate so you have to and you have to also be able to understand people's situation right now schools are not open which means us parents we've been the teachers that everything for the past four months for five months so if you have somebody that's a parent you have to show that express that understanding i just recently did an article that will soon be published anyway for um lma magazine leaders mind ambassador magazine it's a business magazine and i did recently wrote an article for the magazine about leadership and that's one of the things you have to be able to show understanding and compassion you know you have to because people are, deal with things differently don't just assume everybody's okay everybody deals with things differently so you need to make sure that your staff have the resources that they need if they are struggling in any aspects you need to let them know you need to keep that communication even though some people may be working from home and others are in the office a way you can make everybody feel connected is by using virtual like uh, meeting you can do virtual meetings you can use things like skype zoom they have um google hangout so they have all of this facebook meets they have so many resources and tools that you can use so start you can still feel connected and everybody knows what they are working on and the communication flows so you need to be able to do that and show also there are some people somebody like me because of my condition i've been on shielding so you need to also should understand if you have somebody whose health who is a high risk of virus maybe working from home will be the best for them so you need to be able to understand that 
and just as i say as well adaptability there are before this there were so many restaurants that you can only go and get food you can only have a meal there that's it like eating or whatnot they did not really have like takeaway options but with everything that happened with the lockdown so many have had to go onto platform delivery platform and add like takeaway services because that back then nobody was even allowed to have to go to a restaurant and even now there has to be you know the two meters rule so you cannot have you, you cannot fill up your 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 business your restaurant whatever to its full capacity anymore because of that so another way to substitute that to make sure that you still making sales is to offer services online and if that if you are a restaurant you can do food delivery go onto platforms like um, uber eat delivery just eat and find what works best for you so that way you are still able to make sales and balance it out because you cannot have people as much or also you can also have even pickup options where people can already come they pick up but if you're just going to strictly follow and do what you were doing before it, it's not going to work yeah uh, so they say insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result if it wasn't working you have to change you have to change so please do that and also regarding social media you have to be consistent build your online presence make sure you do that you're consistent on your post you can do like post um sh uh, scheduling where you can just schedule your post ahead of time and set when you want it to go out so that way you can focus on other things well you know your post will be done and posted automatically you can say like okay this week this and this is this one i'm gonna post and you set it all out and get on with your they obviously still have to check respond to customer you need to maintain that community basically yeah that bond with your customers and being of them knowing that you are there for them if they have any questions or so you need to do that and having an online presence like using social media profile creating social media profiles that will help and another thing networking yes right now we cannot go and physically network with people but there are so many other virtual networking opportunities you just need to find them you can if you go on to sometimes like eventbrite and you just type something within your field and events will come up people are still doing networking you just have to do it virtually uh, so for example i am part of a networking a business networking group known as little meetup which i'll put their details so you can also go and join on facebook on the linkedin platform we have so many people there we have zoom calls like every two weeks whereby everybody gets to talk about their business and share their details because sometimes you meet people that they can just work together let's say somebody's a photographer and then another one is a hairdresser for example or a or, or wedding planner the photographer and the wedding planner can then work together and create something where the, you know the, the photographer will get pictures that will also get pictures and things done so you have to do that you have to continue to network use all the resources available to you to network and as i say there are so many just search just go on and search and find what suits you i guarantee you whatever it is there is some sort of networking virtual networking group for is whatever field or or sector you are in so make sure you look for that and then another thing as well that ties in with networking collaboration right now is hard for everybody so sometimes when you collaborate with somebody even though you're not exchanging physical cash but you are exchanging value and your their their pla their their followers or supporters get to know about you they may also want to support you and vice versa so you have to do that 
and work with people that you feel can bring value to your business and something you can gain out of it and find as well how you can help them out so in at the end of the day you are exchanging value uh, which will help you a lot down the road so it's very very important and then another thing content creation creating content because right now people even though things are easy now many people are still at home and they have the time they are constantly on social media and what not youtube whatever the case may be so create content that can bring traffic to your website or your profile and eventually also potential cost customers or client and what content creation things like posts and videos for example right now youtube so many people even big celebrities have all jumped onto youtube to create content so they will still maintain their brand and you know that visibility online so people don't forget because we have very short memory span these days we move on so much and forget about that so that is a way to remind people hello we're still here you know so content and as i say so many even celebrities have jumped onto youtube making content so they can still be able to maintain this their online presence and also things like podcast uh, you, you can find even if you don't want to do it just yourself you can find people within your field and and do something else if you are not like a camera person you know you like being behind the scene you don't want to come in front of the camera a podcast would be uh, an option that you can explore because with that it's just your voice you don't have to you know have that hesitation just you speaking and doing whatever it is that you are doing and also with podcasting there are platforms when once you your podcast is growing they can help you find advertisers which will help you as well they can also distribute your podcast to different platforms and streaming websites and whatnot so that is something as well that you can explore and also things like blogs don't ever underestimate things like that either you can link it up with whatever it is you know trending topics whatever it is you find a way to link that to what you do and do express that and through that you're going to gain people so definitely i think that is another way to go and maintain your presence while also you know creating uh, extra income on the side it does take time to get there but as long as you focus you keep going you are still doing something because it's an opportunity to promote yourself to promote your business your brand and whatever it is that you do what you can do you can create a platform that is for members only so create a membership platform uh, or package whereby somebody will pay pay some uh, you know anything depending on what they're going to get somebody can pay for that package and then they get all of this within that package so that is another way you can create also like um training videos and all of these things that you can then use that to divert traffic onto your website or your profile and also gain potential customers if your if you your brand or business or whatever is within like health fitness sports there are so many you know new opportunities that you can explore you can be doing classes that you can you know, whether it be classes or dancing this whatever it is you can do class on that virtually put together a video or do it even live uh, while people follow if you're doing like um, exercise videos whatever you can then do it live and let people follow along with the steps or you can stream it however it is that works best for you but that's another way because even if if you let's say you 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 are um, a fitness instructor for example before you had a gym this start and all of that but now it's going to be restricted how many people you can have so a way to substitute that is by creating these videos and 
and just showing people certain things because a lot of people are at home they want to know more about health fitness and all of these things so that is a really really good way if you're in that field to be able to get what you do out there and while still maintaining uh, while still abiding by the following the restrictions of you not being able to have as much people if you're doing like dance classes now you can't have as much then you can do videos on that it can you can do it free or you can let people pay for it whatever it is that works for you but i i think yeah that will help yeah so that is it i hope this has helped you in some way and help you as well as you get out there and um, navigate back onto you know back to business so i hope that helps and as i say i'm a business coach and mentor i also do marketing uh, you know strategy um, also marketing strategies so i help people especially those um small business small to medium-sized businesses coach them and help them get through this you know guiding them step by step i don't that doesn't mean i know everything i'm also gonna be learning but together with whatever it is you have and, and my knowledge experiences and your determination hard work be able to put something together you know so i do that i offer um one one-on-one -on -one coaching mentorship and um, as i say marketing if you need support with any of those things you can check out my website and i'm also going to put my details emails and whatnot if that's something you may be interested in to work with me it doesn't matter which, which part of the world you are in you know, nowadays as i say you can do everything from home virtually and just to help you through and guide you through so you can focus on the products or services that you're going to be offering and for you to be able to also have a clear plan of where you're going which keeps you motivated because you're able to see and also it helps you to just tick off things okay this has been done this has been done this has been done so that's what i what well, that's what i do for clients just guide them through and on to whatever goals they want to achieve just find a way to break it down and just doing a bit at a time in just chunks to help them get there so if you're interested in that reach out and um yeah and we'll see how we can take it from there usually i'll do like well the first 30 minutes will be free to just kind of discuss with you what you want da, 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 da. and then from there on you can then choose a package on what what you want or what you feel like you need and yeah so that's it you can go to my website www.miriamk.co.uk or you can email me miriamk913 at gmail.com and i'll leave all the links and details below and yeah so thank you so much i hope this helped please feel free to comment and share your own tips as well so we can all learn from one another so yeah so thank you so much i hope you have a blessed and also before you leave hold hold up hold up before you leave make sure you are subscribed already or you're subscribed or if you haven't done so please do that now and also please as i say liking the videos and commenting all of that engagement helps for youtube to push my videos more to other people so please I, I it's so fun sometimes i have i'll have a video that has like over 2000 views and i'm like well, who are all these people why are they not subscribed is this ghost <laughs> are this ghost invisible ghost that just be watching without subscribing so please i really appreciate it if you do we are on our way to monetization and i know with your help we'll get there this is our journey Thank you so much and have a blessed, blessed day. Thank you very much, my beautiful people. Please, before you sign out, please check out Triple D's World, my nephew's YouTube channel. And they recently had an epic spicy noodles challenge, father versus son. 
spicy noodles challenge so that i proudly sub that i proudly sponsor so please check them out and subscribe to their channel as well they have a lot of exciting videos coming up and yeah i really appreciate it. if you can check it out and go and subscribe to them and while you're there let them know that miriam k sent you thank you all and have a blessed day